Hello, my name is Navigator. In today's video, we're going to be going over everything that I picked up at 1UP Wrestling's Slams Giving. This was the event that 1UP Wrestling put on for the month of November. I usually try to hit these up every single month. There's a bunch of other promotions, but 1UP Wrestling has really been uh, hit, hitting the spot lately, I guess you could say. Last month in... Um, in Fulton, New York, they had WrestleMania, and that is where I got all the Tommy Dreamer stuff. I did show that on the channel as well. I usually do a review after every one of these events of what I got. And here I am, it's like midnight, the night of this event, and uh, I'm just bored. I figured I'd just get this video over with now. But this time I did get some really cool stuff. As I've been showing every month with these pickups, uh, there's this new thing I've been seeing at the 1UP Wrestling events where it's like this $50 grab bag of a bunch of different wrestling stuff, and that is what majority of this video is. However, I did manage to get some pretty cool, uh, like I guess you could say retro WWE elites or older WWE elites, as you can see over here. And I'll show those off as well. And actually, why don't we just start off with those and get them out of the way real quick. So number one, I did manage to get this older Series 13 or Wave 13 uh, Cody Rhodes figure from WWE Elite. They did re-release a, a slightly you know similar version of this fairly recently in the Greatest Hits line. But I'll just do a quick little overview of it. For the most part, he is like totally intact. No scuffs or paint or anything except for on the hair here. You can see, even with the camera not focusing, those little specks right there in the hair. But aside from that, this figure is great. It looks great. And uh, I just kind of wanted to have the older version to go with the, the newer versions. And uh, since, you know, Cody is such a hit now, uh, you might as well have all of his elites. So why not? I figured I'd grab these. Something funny, and I doubt that the guy that owns these uh, figures will, will find out, but... These figures are marked for 30. For some reason, the guy in the booth wasn't there, and the lady was insisting that they were being sold for 20. So I was like, sure, why not? And I ended up getting both of these for 20, which I am more than fine paying for, especially for this next figure here. This is going to be, I think it's Axe. I think this is Demolition Axe or Smash, one or the other, but his elites are usually pretty expensive. Unfortunately, he doesn't have any of his, his accessories here, but this thing could easily go for 30 or 40 bucks on eBay, uh, and I got it for 20, so I was very happy with that. Uh, I'll probably end up flipping this figure, not really one that I want to have in my collection, but I saw it there, knew it was a good price, and who knows, maybe I'll keep it and we'll, we'll see, but there we go. Did get one of the Demolition guys for 20 bucks, which was not bad at all. And next up here, we're going to move into the stuff that I got from these uh, wrestling grab bags. I really do like these things, and I haven't won anything really big yet, but there always uh, is one bag that has like a signed Funko Pop or a signed Micro Brawler. This time, uh, one of the pops was Kofi Kingston, and the other item, um, excuse me, the other item was a signed uh, Tommy Dreamer Micro Brawler. But we did actually get some of those, and uh, starting off, I'll show this off really quickly. Just some 1UP Wrestling uh, gift cards, or not gift cards, sorry, business cards, and then also some 1UP Wrestling pens. I love these pens, so it's always great to have more of those. Uh, next up, we did get a Jeff Cobb Micro Brawler. Doesn't really look like Jeff Cobb. It looks more like Powerhouse Hobbs, to be honest with you, but there we go. So we got that. We also got a Jake the Snake Roberts Micro Brawler. Kind of beat up on the top there, but that's okay. I do like having those things. Slightly adding to my Micro Brawlers collection. Next up here... We did get this before the Big Leagues Tag Team Edition. And this has a bunch of really cool matches. We've got Santana and Ortiz versus the Lynch Mob. Best Friends and Matt Stryker versus Tommy Dreamer, Colt Cabana, and Mike Babichick. Super Smash Bros. versus, I don't know, D i 4 k Private Party versus The Rep, SCU versus The Gymnasty Boys, and Beaver Boys versus Team Tremendous. So we have that. And these are really cool, too. I like going back and watching these wrestling DVDs. I got a hardcore one one time, and I love watching that DVD. Next up here, before we get to the last really cool stuff, I did get some t-shirts. This one I got on its own. This is a Mike Skyros shirt. Mike Skyros is a, a local wrestler, one of the best, if not the best, local wrestler that I have here in upstate New York. So I wanted to get one of his shirts, and this was really cool. I like this a lot. That's like his signature pose. So I did grab that, a little Mike Skyros action. And then these shirts here came with both of the wrestling bags. Number one, we did get a Briscoe's Dem Boy shirt. I was actually looking to buy this shirt fairly recently, so I was kind of happy that I got this. But love to have a Briscoe shirt. Nothing going on in the back of this one. But we do get this really interesting, I'm not sure what this is from. I'll do a little bit of research. But we have this The Elite shirt, and it says The Villain. So I'm not really sure what this is, but we have an Elite shirt on the, uh, on the sleeve here. It says the elite as well, but there you go. So uh, yeah, let's see what else we've got. 
We also have this Danhausen mask, uh, luchador mask, I should say. This thing is really, really cool. I do like this a lot. This is a super unique item. Uh, I'm not really sure what to say about it, but we do have that. And then finally here, uh, or I guess a penultimate, I should say, we have this ENC's like awesome pod or whatever. This I don't know, Edge and Christian's awesome podcast poster. Nothing too crazy going on about that, but it is pretty cool. Probably hang that up somewhere. And then finally, 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 we can get to it. We do have the autographs. These always come in these mystery bags. So the first one that I got was Brian Myers. I'm very glad to have this. I can have it next to my Matt Cardona. Obviously, these guys are wrestling figure collectors themselves. And then finally here, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. I really do like this guy a lot. Was super happy and fortunate to find this autograph. But this is going to be Erwin R. Scheister. Uh, quite the autograph there, as you can see. Not a whole lot to going on. But we do have an IRS signature as well. And guys, my girlfriend is texting me, so I got to leave it there. She's going to bed, so I got to, you know, tuck her in or whatever you want to call it. No, I'm just kidding. Anyways, I'm going to end it there. Uh, yeah, so there we go. Everything that I picked up at 1UP Wrestling's Slams Giving. Uh, a wrestling event so there you go and i'll be sure to show you what i get from the next one up wrestling event final fight on december 7th not plugging them or anything but you know if you're anticipating these videos that's when the next one will come out i will leave it at that as always my name is navigator have a nice day take care